Wrestling fans, here we are. We're back. We just missed a great, and you guys were still watching at home on Matt Four, returning champion, a one-time champion, Dale Hillman from West Marshall with the pin. Uh, we didn't get to call it live, but you saw it live. That's the great thing about what's <laughs> going on here, even when we're not talking. And you guys are talking about Hoyle taking on uh, Vershore, who Gable, obviously, from Wood, Wood, Woodbury, Woodbury Central, Central Mobile. Yep. Um, not a champion, but an undefeated kid right now in place. A good match on match six. On match six. Yeah, he's 26 and 0, and he's taken on uh, Austin Mo Austin Hoyle. I'm sorry, 34 and 15, a senior out of Alburnett. So you got a guy that's got 15 losses on the year in Alburnett, <laughs> and then Wilbur Central's Ver Vershore with zero losses. And, and you know what? You never know what to think of the 15 loss kid from a team like Alburnett because yes. you know how good he is. If 15 losses, yes, but those coaching, that coaching staff and this, the feel of that room. Well, then you also know that the Albernets wrestling a schedule. It's pretty darn yeah. tough over there too. So he's wrestled tough competition all year, and he finds himself in the semifinals. Vershore was fourth as a freshman, seventh last year. In between their little injury, hurt again earlier this year, jumped up a couple weights from 52. We've had some 182 pounders sneak in on Matt Four, Steve Huber from Maquoketa Valley and Austin Labs from Guthrie Center. And still Cody Kingry and Logan Pede on Matt Three, Kingry 4-1. Steve Huber, as you mentioned, and Lobs, or, or Austin Labs from Guthrie Center, they're 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. Hoke is trailing Fingelson on Matt Five. Jacob Hoke of Southeast Warren in the green on the black mat, mat five. Against Keegan Fingelson of Central Springs. And Austin Hoyle taking on for sure. Hoyle with the escape in the second period. Well, this mat five is going to come down to the last 20 seconds here. Hoke needs a takedown. Yeah, he's. Oh, look at this. Right on the edge, go out of bounds, come back, 10 seconds left to go. Wow. Let's see what Fingelson has in his reserve here. He's in on the shot, can he finish? Three, two, one, does not look like it, so it's gonna be Hoke. Hanging, no, Hoke, Hoke loses. I'm sorry, Fingelson. Fingelson was in on the shot. That's the best defense is your offense. You go to the offense get on your opponent right away. You yeah. see so many people in a situation that actually back up, back up, and then flee. Fingelson had no part of that. He went right after it. Trusted in himself and kept himself out of trouble. The other semi in 160. Gets the win. Kingery from Underwood and Pede. Four to one, Kingery on top, Matt three. That's your top left. Matt four is Huber of Maquoketa Valley. Trailing Austin Labs, Guthrie Center. 5-4. See more Makoka to Valley Dale High coming up. Promise you that. <laughs> They're over there on mat number three, the purple mat, the upper left corner. That's Kingery of Underwood. Oh, and almost got the fall here. Man, he looks like he has it from here. That is, well, now he doesn't lost it. Taking on Logan Peed. He had him straight up and down. But this is the third period. This is probably how it's going to end with only 20 seconds left to go. You're going to see Joe Stephens, or Stevens of Underwood, the head coach there, get another guy into the finals. I think this is number two, Thompson, the 106-pounder. Do they get one in between here or not? I, I don't. I think those are the only two Underwood kids we yeah. have. Yep. Both guys are into the finals. Uh, he That's pretty impressive. Basically let Logan Peed get the reversal, reversal didn't bother him a bit 7-3 no. final Kingry moves on Kingry and Fingelson Underwood has had a lot of outstanding wrestlers oh. down here in front of us mat number six that's the red mat the bottom right corner of the screen that's Hoyle of Albernet for sure Woodbury Central tied up one to one third period I think there were four kids named Gable in the tournament this year. There kind, was. Kind of odd, that it, huh? How about that in Iowa? Matt, five, just to update you, 182, Colton Massengale taking on Evan Hansen, 55 and 0, senior for Xyra Elkhorn Kimbleton. Now you're going to like it, Hansen, by the way. This is a kid we 
He, he was in the semifinals last year. We saw him lose uh, to the big senior Adam Hawkins of BGM, Brooklyn, and uh, he finished third, but he was a, a senior or a sophomore state champion, champion. for Xyra EHK. Hanson very tough. Ironically, wrestling Massengale, another BGM kid, <laughs> this time. So maybe he'll take out his uh, <laughs> frustrations with Hawkins on Massengale, or at least he'd like to. He's doing it right now, 9-4. <laughs> Thing just got started. <laughs> yeah, yeah Hanson just getting warmed up with the nine points. And he's right back after it, too. Look at him dropping on that single. Mm. But and this not able to get it. Oh, and look Hoyle. at Massengale. Massengale coming on on a single of his own. Has Hanson's leg up high. Sweep. Nice sweep. But look at that. Bounces right off of his back. Off the mat, off of his he, back. Comes up, doesn't give up the takedown. And then immediately gets in on a shot of, excuse Beautiful. me, on a shot of his own against Massengale for a two-point takedown. Could we get a replay of that, sir? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful how he bounced out of that. Unbelievable. Right back up and right back on the offense. Beautiful. And on mat six, Hoyle had this thing. And then what you and mentioned, Gable, the, the man named Gable, got a late reversal in the third period. Tie that baby up. Uh, well, that was a quick, harsh, beautiful takedown attempt by Massengale. Sure was. He swept the leg out just perfect, but just did not follow through with it. But oh. my goodness, Hanson and his his reflex, it just bounced quick. right off. I mean, I saw the air <laughs> between the mat and his back when he bounced. And yeah. immediately came out of it. And not only came out of it, but again, drove right immediately in on a double leg and was able to take him down right and wrapped him up into the heels. Yep. And in all that excitement, we're down here on Matt number six. Matt, Matt number five. Hansen was uh, yep. with that beautiful move there. Not only kept himself out of trouble, kept his 11-4 lead. We're into over overtime Massengale. right now down here yeah. on Matt number yeah. six. Yeah. Matt six, free, free wrestling here on Matt six. I'm talking to our guys in the truck, they're as busy as we are. They're like, which one was this? Matt five, boys. <laughs> Vince and Travis, yeah. And, uh, you know, Matt three, we got a good one. Yeah, Still Hansen's going with Jewel and Hickson. That's going to happen. Yeah, it was a good finish uh, right at the end of the third period between the two guys you'd mentioned on Matt six. And it's just gut check time now. We've it's seen like, a couple of these. I, I believe Huber and Labs have a nice match going here, too, but it was lost in the shuffle. Well, yeah, I mean, uh oh. Look. Look, time ran out 6 5. Labs got him. Labs gets him. You ask and you sell receive. Watch this middle box, folks. I know that we're in overtime there, but watch this sweep right here. Watch this sweep by Massengale. And then watch up. him wow. bounce right off the mat and come up and then immediately he's, you think you just go out of bounds here? Look at this sweep. And it comes across and finishes with the takedown right there of his own on the edge. No Come going out of bounds and <laughs> celebrating his escape. You talk about mad awareness offensive. and knowing where you're at. That's just fantastic wrestling right there. And it gets him to the finals where he'll have a chance to get another title. A title as a sophomore, third last year, Evan Hansen. You saw it on the replay. Cat-like quickness, the agility. Hansen is on. And who was the winner between Hoobier and Labs? Labs. Austin Labs of Guthrie Center. Yes. Taking good down contingent of Guthrie Center fans up there, I saw. Here's another pretty good wrestler on the mats now here. We're going to this Matt one. Four, Cash Wilkie. Four-time place winner, defending state champion. Iowa recruit taking on Big Bad Ryland Richardson, South Central Calhoun. Albert wins another one. Boyle Look at that. It. The guy with 15 losses upsets the guy with zero, zero losses of Woodbury Central and finds his way. Austin Hoyle finds his way into the finals. His team needed him, and he came through for him. That is big, big for Albert right there in the team race. You know, that might have just sealed the deal for him right there. Alburnett's really uh, got a lot of shirts down there that you've seen the team Stallman shirts that they've been wearing and uh, it's a tribute to an eighth grader Austin Stallman who's battling cancer so not only are they coming back trying to win this thing it's always a part of the community and I think that was pretty cool I noticed those shirts the last couple days and found out what was going on it's really unique and they're really supporting an eighth grade kid who's going to be a wrestler you know. It just, He's going to get back on the map. You do. I mean, Alburnett's just a small town community as is Woodbury Central you know and a lot of these schools are and it's just that's what brings these schools together these just these tight-knit stories and like I said it's just unfortunate there's always a winner and a loser sometimes
When we act as an advocate for Iowa farmers. I rise up. When we reinvest $80 million in a decade to bring jobs to rural communities. I rise up. When we provide nearly half a million dollars in scholarships to young Iowans each year. I rise up. When we invest in solutions that create opportunities and improve the quality of life for all Iowans. I rise up. We're Iowa Farm Bureau, and we do these things because we're your neighbors. We're Iowans, and nothing feels better than seeing Iowa rising. Opportunities are out there. When it comes to getting maximum productivity from your acres, who can you turn to? I got a guy who works with me to customize a plan for each acre, not a one-size-fits-all solution. I got a guy who knows which corn products will help me get more out of this field. I got a guy who digs deeper and treats my business like it's his. Who do I turn to? My channel seedsman. Find your channel seedsman at channel.com. 2A semifinals here at Wells Fargo Reno, Des Moines, Iowa. Mark Ironside, Bob Selby, and Dave Bingham. A lot of action here. I uh, really appreciate the guys in the truck getting us that replay on Hanson. That was something special that we saw. It was great that we were capturing it with four, four cameras going to get that thing back up in the middle. That was pretty cool. So appreciate that. We'll definitely have to try to catch up on these four matches, but I'll tell you one thing at 220 right now, 4 1 is the score here with Ryan Parmalee, the defending state champion, at 220. Four-time place winner and the second-ranked Kale Minders of AGWSR. And he found himself down early. Yeah, I didn't see how the takedown happened, but got taken down right to his back for takedown and two near fall. And it almost happened again where Parmley tried to hit a little bit of a throw right there against Minders and almost got put to his back again. These guys are one and two. Both undefeated. Parmalee, the defending state champion. Minders, obviously, uh, no slouch himself. Finished third last year and seventh as a sophomore. There's a takedown there for Parmalee. That tightens the score up four to three. Matt five is Matt Nag of Sibley O'Cheaton. Andrew Peterson of Woodbury Central Moville. Peterson with the one nothing lead. Clayton Jewell and Zach Hickson on map three. Clayton Jewell of North Cedar Stanwood and Hickson, of course, of Don Bosco. 8-5 Hickson leads. Should be getting oh. 37 seconds to go in the third. Miners <laughs> got himself in trouble there. On mat six. Trying to throw Parmalee, and Parmalee had a good hold on him. <laughs> he ended up right on his back. Matt number four, the top right corner of Matt. Cash Wilkie out to a commanding lead right now by a score of 10-0. to they're only in the second period of that match. Uh-oh. There's that? Parmerly right there about ready to get the fall. Can he do it as the time runs out? No, but he's going to get a three-point near fall. Should up it to a seven. Give him the football too, huh, Bob? 6-4, 7-4 lead, 6-4. Parmerly's up 6-4 now. You just mentioned this comfortable lead, Cash Wilkie, and he looks good. 10-0 over Ryland Richardson. This is a one. Richardson's been ranked number two most of the year. So that's the distance between Cash Wilkie really distancing himself from the field. Down from 2A, of course, Odebold Arthur 2A last year. They're 1A. Shouldn't really make a big difference. 12 0 now. Minders woke up Parmalee. Some, something fierce. Yeah. Ooh, what a shot over there by Woodbury Central. And Holy Peterson. moly. Right off the whistle for a two-point takedown. Hickson does get the win. So Don Bosco on the board. Should have mentioned, too, folks, that uh, Albernet with a couple big wins, pulls back in front, 103 to 84.5 over Clarion Goldfield Dows. Wilton still in third with Southeast Warren right there behind him in fourth, but they're way back. Wilton 30 points back at Clarion Goldfield. Albernet at 18 and a half point lead as we speak over Clarion Goldfield. Cash Wilkie over here with another two point takedown. Coaches tell him to release him, get this tech fall. And then we're going to get our first look at Levi Paulson. 24 and one senior from Woodbury Central Mobile taking on Skyler Popham from Clarksville. Cash Wilkie over here on mat number four with the technical fall, 16 to one. Wow. So Wilkie and Hickson, the 1A final.